everybody, it's Marissa from Shamrock Stamper and I have a few projects to share with you along with a haul and um, from several different companies. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Um, first is a graduation card that I made for um, the neighbor's daughter. Um, they're wonderful. We have kind of our own little community back here. A couple log homes and two other homes. We can't even really see each other's houses. We're out in the woods, but um, it's, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, um, I decided to experiment on canvas. So this whole background is canvas. Uh, I bought a 12 by 12 square, and then I just cut it down, and I colored it with some of my Lindy Stamp Gang Mists, um, and I also kind of frayed the edges and colored the edges here. I did stamp on that. Um, I paper pieced the um, balloons, and these are out of the Unity Kit of the Month stamp kit for May. Um, the paper is Studio Calico, and this is also a Studio, studio Calico embellishment that um, it's really cool. I think they're called Mistables. And you can basically, you have the shape, and it's fabric on top, chipboard on the bottom, and you can color it any color you want to. And I just put Dream Big at the bottom. Um, so hopefully this is something, you know, that she could do, you know, think of into the future. And I used a double-sided adhesive for the back. Um, I used um, score tape or um, your red line tape. And I think what you could do, I mean, if she wanted to keep this, um, you know, put it up in a frame or something, you could kind of probably peel it off. Um, I'm not sure how well they go. But anyway, so um, there is this project. And the second thing I created was a tag. And this one, I used a product that I'm going to share in my haul. But um, it's a Plain Jane uh, baseboard um, mist by Tattered Angels in ivory because I just used a regular piece of craft cardstock and this is the effect that I got on it with an embossing folder um, and also I stamped on it I don't know how well you can see that um, this is seam binding that I colored with my Lindy Stamp Gang Mists a couple copper staples um, and these things are from I think this is from the January kit of the month from Unity this one is from the May kit this is a paper flower that I made out of trash packaging materials that I had, and I really thought it was pretty cool. I love it. I had a lot of fun creating it with some mists and some distress inks, and this is um, linen thread. All of these supplies are going to be, you're going to find them on my blog. Um, and if you want to know how to do this technique with the um, baseboard inks, just let me know and I can show you. So there's that. <coughs> Excuse me allergies again, so I'm going to go ahead and get into the haul. Um, I purchased some um, flare buttons from um, a Paper Candies Etsy shop, and I'll go ahead and put that into the description below. And this is what she sells, is these little flare buttons. And these are just like little colored chevrons, and I thought these would be kind of a nice neutral color to use for most of the little scrap of pages and they're 15 each and the prices are really really good and these I got for my son some projects for him these are all little Dr. Seuss flare buttons and they're plain on the back so you can just stick your adhesive on there and put them wherever you want to in your project so that was again from Paper Candies on Etsy the next is a haul from um, scrapbook.com. I got some 12 by 12 craft card stock and this is um, um, basil paper because I didn't have any 12 by 12 craft card stock and there's some craft um, stickers by Pebbles and this is also um, basil paper pack 12 by 12 and this is the orange peel texture and I thought I'd just try something a little bit different um, with white texture card socks. I'm looking forward to this. It looks a lot like watercolor paper. And then the last thing from scrapbook.com was the Plain Jane um, baseboard. And this is in ivory. So unlike Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist, this um, is obviously a matte, opaque 
mist. Semi-opaque, I guess it says. And you do have to shake it up. Okay, so that was all from scrapbook.com. Then from um, Becky Higgins, her Amazon store, I got the big page envelopes for what I've been working on, and I, I love this. Um, I don't think, I, I don't completely do Project Life, but I kind of scrap, um, uh, well, I showed on my last video kind of what I was doing, and I'm working on a page right now for my son and I. We did a 5K, and, a, and he did a, fi a piglet race for our church. So I'm working on um, that page right now, those pages right now. And these are just envelopes. They have four by six cards, so you can put what is in this package. And then it's three ring bound, so you can put it into a 12 by 12 binder. So it's wonderful, wonderful for memorabilia, um, all sorts of ephemera, things like that, that you don't necessarily want to stick down, but you'd like to keep. Okay, and that was it from Amazon. And then my next was from Two Peas. And what I decided to do, because again, along these same lines, I really like the Project Life, um, um, what else would we call it, you know, just kind of that small, that scrapbooking on a more picture layout format. Um, I decided to get the Ditto um, 8.5 by 11 journal. And it has a craft cover, so you can go, it's a chipboard cover, so you can go ahead and alter it. And I got some of the folders to go in it, so I can stick memorabilia as I get it, or papers, forms, like graded papers, maybe things that my son brings home from kindergarten, whatever, um, into that. And I can go ahead and three-hole punch that and put it in there. And then I also got um, the 8.5 by 11 journal inserts. And these are just pages where you have, I'll go ahead and open this up, hopefully I have enough video time here. I always tend to get chopped off, so I apologize if I do. Um, but these are some little stickers, sticker tabs that you can put on the pages, um, some pockets, you can put things in, again, more envelopes for um, memorabilia, ephemera, things like that. And then calendar pages, so you say something happens on a particular day, um, you can just jot it down. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll just go into this and say, oh, this happened. You know, Liam did this this day. Fiona did this this day. Um, little ideas and doodles. And these are refillable. You can get more of these. And then they have the half pages. So you can go ahead and, again, stick pictures in there, whatever else. But I think this is going to be nice for me to keep on, kind of on a day-to-day -day basis and not necessarily scrapbook things, but maybe keep ideas and memories. Okay, and then next from um, Two Peas, I got the date stamps by Studio Calico. Those will be nice for the, um, you know, like the Project Life pages, things like that. Okay, and I got a freebie. I guess they were including freebies. These are chipboard. It's called Pink Oak um, chip chipboard alphabet. So that was a freebie. And I got these pebbles little flags are really cute. And the last thing I got was I've kind of become a fan of We Are Memory Keepers paper packs. They have such, well I guess paper stack, they have such cool stuff in their paper stacks. And um, hopefully I have enough video time to show you what's in here. And this one, unlike the last one I got, I got the one, um, one for Easter and I used tons of it in pages for the kids, cards, things like that. This one came in a uh, clear package container so you can put it upright on your shelves instead of having to stack it. You can see through it, you know what you've got. So, oh, and it's even labeled. It says red, white, and blue. So you know what it is. Very convenient. Okay. Go ahead and open this up. Eh. I'm trying to beat the clock here, and I don't know if I will. So if I don't, I'll start it on the next video. Okay. So this comes with a bunch of little cardstock embellishments. Yep, it's starting to look like I'm going to stop. So I'm going to stop the video here and restart it um, on the next video.